Hello everybody and welcome to this week's up update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users and welcome to Boston, sunny summer Boston where I work from to develop all of the code that helps Inkscape become better. Uh, I was accused of not uh, going out and about with my cam camera so here I am in my garden Hopefully you get a kick out of this alternate location. It's a bit wet though. So uh, let's go inside. Welcome to week two of the CMYK PDF output pro project. I'm currently going through the um, pretty big pro project of trying to implement um, color managed PDF output from Inkscape. And um, that's what we're going to be ta talking about this, this week. Um, but before we get into the details, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to all of my sponsors. Um, a big shout out, especially to the people who have signed up for the yearly amounts. Patreon have enabled a feature that allows you to sign up for a year. Um, so if you were looking forward to that fe feature, this might be a good opportunity for you to come sponsor me and allow me to just work on this uh, code for more time. Um, okay, so let's get into the details of what we've been up to. First of all, I've been developing some of the um, test files and some of the um, features that I need to be able to support in the PDF output. This is everything from having multiple pages with items positioned on it correctly, uh, multiple do documents in different units. Um, then we have things like lines, stroke widths, um, stroke ends, end caps, uh, joins, uh, dashes, and a bunch of other different fun fe features in lines. Then we have things like blend modes. We have things like filters. We have things like um, whether strokes are applied afterwards or before. We have opacities. We have master opacities and transparencies. Uh, and then we have some of the more tricky stuff like enabling bleeds and margins and trying to keep things repositioned. A lot of these test files are, I'm working through them by basically building a file in Inkscape that focuses just on one thing. Um, like I'll have a file that just does blend modes and then I will uh, run the PDF exporter over it over and over again until I have a, an output that is actually correct. Um, I definitely have one already for uh, color managed CMYK so I can guarantee that it is outputting that correctly. Um, uh, you remember from last week that things were flipped upside down. Um, the strategy that, that I'm using to re reposition the, the coordinates is I'm going to flip the entire uh, um, unit space around on the y-axis and then I'm going to um, deal with the text problem which is that text has to be repositioned on in the coordinate space uh, in order for it to be the right way up um, later. Um, this is probably why text is going to be one of the things I do, like maybe week four or five. We'll see. We'll see how the tests go out. This is also the first week where I had to modify the um, C++ code for the CAPI PDF li library that I'm using to do the PDF writing itself. Um, there's a few bits of fun functionality that are not exposed in the C a a API. And that's basically meant that I've had to upstream a bunch of fixes. I think what's happening here is that I am slowly working through all of the low hanging fruit, all of the stuff that the library already supports. And as I continue to grind away against all of the fun functionality that I need to be able to support, I'm going to be forced to basically implement that functionality upstream as well. Uh, nobody said that this was going to be easy and um, <clears throat> Some of my fellow developers have actually uh, asked me how I even think it's possible to do this in a year. Um, I, I, I just don't know. Like we're, we're going to try and get as much of this done as we can in a year. Um, I'll be honest with you though, folks, if we end up in a year's time, 
<clears throat> delivering most of a PDF output, uh, that will at least be an advancement, right? We'll, we'll be getting some somewhere. But if we end up in a situation where we don't have, for instance, filters, or we have problems with text and we have to convert everything to paths, um, limitations, right? Depending upon how much of a struggle it is to achieve the, the actual end result. Um, and don't forget, like, I also want to get to the Connect Connectors pro project this year too. So uh, I did actually manage to get some bugs fixed in the uh, Bug Accelerator pro program. This is for 1.3.1. Uh, we're actually starting to get in some of the more serious issues that have crept in, mostly regressions and things that need to be uh, fixed. Uh, one was to do with the positions of grids when the page was resized. One was to do with crashing when um, you were using an LPE with a tapered stroke. Um, I managed to get those fixed. Um, that is about what I've been up to this week myself. Um, so let's check in with what's going on with the in the rest of the Inkscape pro project. Um, it's it's pretty much rolling along. Like most developers are focusing on the GTK4 um, upgrade. And that's where most of the activity in the code base is. But we've also had some um, fun contributions from new developers, which is great to see. One person just committed uh, improvements to the um, palettes. He just wanted to clean up some palette stuff. It's a very easy contribution. You don't even really need to be a programmer to do, do that. Um, Another person basically cleaned up the drag and drop in the layers di dialog. He was frustrated by the fact that you had to uh, hit it exactly at the bottom. And if you dragged it to the white space, it didn't work. So he added a fix for that. Uh, that was, I'm sorry if I pronounced this wrong, um, Aaron Ahmed, um, well done. Um, and then the usual cast of characters, Tav and, and Daniel and uh, PBS uh, and Raphael have all been working on the GTK4 stuff mo mostly and some other bug interactions elsewise. Um, that's about it for this week. Uh, I wish more, more features and stuff was going on so I could sort of like show you some like really interesting stuff. But this is kind of the time of the year when a lot of refactoring is done um, to make Inkscape sort of easier to develop in, in the future. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me this week. And I hope to see you all next week for week three of the CMYK P PDF pro project. And um, yeah, thank you. So much water. I know, right?